I'm ready. Go. This poem is called Riding My Bicycle Around New York City at 3.30 in the morning in the rain, crying. I am about to bawl my eyes out. All these emotions tucked inside, they need to find a way out. How did we become a society where we can walk past a man sleeping in a suit on a wet street, never asking ourselves twice how did this come to be, or what if this was me? We just walk by, walk by, over and over we pass an eye to the world outside of ourselves, thinking that if we put our hand out to lift our sister out, there'll be nothing left for ourselves. But that's the only way out, for her, for you, and for me. I don't get why I'm the weird girl. I'm crazy because I fight for my dreams? Well, that's right, that's me, but don't think I don't bleed. My youngest memory is my dad trying to burn my skin off with hot water. I lived a life with a mom who told me she wished I wasn't her daughter. I woke up next to my dead uncle. Heroin was his slaughter. My older sister, my hero, in the emergency room twice, almost lost her life. Cooked cocaine was her game, and now my nephew's left with a mom who's cooked her brain. So what if it's true? I walk around trying to love you because I want you to love me, and you don't get the f***ing message, so I have to play it on repeat. With my chin up, I smile at a hungry world that wants to swallow me for every penny of passion I have, chew me up, and spit me out like I'm some kind of clown. But the spirit inside me won't let me stay down. I fall off the boat, my lungs fill up with water, and I'm about to drown. Until the last second, the sound of hope is found and resounds in a picture of an eight-year-old girl named Regina. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. This is a, a picture of an eight-year-old girl named Regina, okay. who slept on a cement floor with rats. Surrounded by thieves and held down by illiteracy, Regina still believed, and she looked at me, and I knew that she would make it. So I walk around this world naked, showing my most vulnerable parts, hoping to stir your heart, to shake you up, Mr. Numb. I don't blame you, because you've become what everybody else here has become. Marching to the beat of the American Dream drum. Except for you fail to realize it's an America where people commit suicide. It's an America where people pop pills to get through life. Is that home where no one's ever home? Is that ring or vacation or the opinion of that other overweight, dissatisfied family really what makes you wake up every single mother day and go to that job that you hate and I'm crazy? Well, crazy is what crazy does and this crazy thinks that I can love ignorance, hurt, and hate away in the way that I live day to day. I'm going to dance the world's sadness away. Or at least I'll put a smile on your face. Standing like a fool in the middle of the street, I sing this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Bop, bop, bop. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to break in and liberate you from the chains that our culture has taught you to wear so well. What if one by one we let our Berlin walls crash down and we walked around with our frowns turned upside down and we looked into each other's eyes to see that fire that burns inside? We are not enemies. We are not different political parties. We are not our parents' armies. We are humanity. <laughs> oh my God! I have a foundation called More Than Me. We help kids get off the street and into school around the world. And we teach kids here about global issues. But more importantly than all of that, More Than Me is about the way we live our lives each day, the way we care for each other, and, um, and take the time and just and love with our lives. We're living for something greater than just ourselves every day, no matter where we're at. Oh, thank you so much, Katie. But, um, so basically, that's the story.